Hi, and welcome to your Quick Start Training Guide Tutorial. In this short video, you will learn how to get the most out of your training experience and where to go for help if you need it at any time. There are two main features of your training program. One is the interactive training tutorial. Hello, and welcome to your Brightspace Competencies Tool training module. All of your training concepts, facts, and procedures will be taught and practiced within this tutorial. The second feature is the virtual training classroom right here in Brightspace. All of your training activities and formal assessments will take place here. I'd like to take a moment to go over some of the unique features your training tutorial has to offer you. Within this tutorial, you will experience various kinds of interactions, such as rollovers, click boxes, links to external resources, what they are and how to create them. Effective practice opportunities. And finally, simulated screen experiences that will actively walk you through each step of the competency creation procedure. Please note that your interactive tutorial is asynchronous, so you can start and stop at any time. Simply use the interactive table of contents to quickly access the topic you need to continue training. You can also access the navigation map to hyperlink between topics as well. About discussions. Now about your virtual classroom. You will get the most out of your training experience if you follow along checking the corresponding Brightspace module as you work through each training topic in the interactive tutorial. The same external resources you will access during training can also be found in the corresponding module as well as in the helpful resources module within your Brightspace classroom. You will learn more about training practice sessions and required activity assessments in the About Your Training section at the start of the tutorial. For now, just know that all your formal assessments will take place in Brightspace. After you complete an activity or assessment, you can check and monitor your own progress by clicking on the competencies or class progress links at the top of your navbar. Your training course in Brightspace has been set up with a competency structure of its own. As a trainee, you are taking on the role of student so the competencies results you see will act as your student view. In this way, you will gain a student's perspective of competencies by accessing your progress results in Brightspace. You will discover the teacher's perspective of competencies results within the interactive training tutorial. I encourage you to check your progress often to practice using this new tool. You will receive more information on how to experiment with competencies, and class progress results after starting the tutorial. You've probably noticed there are not many modules available to you right now in Brightspace. Don't worry, you will unlock more modules by completing mini quizzes at the end of each Brightspace module. You will learn more about these mini assessments and how to both experiment with them and complete them shortly. Right now you do have access to your discussion board activities. Feel free to familiarize yourself with these discussion modules before you start the tutorial. 
The Q&A board can be accessed anytime you have a question during training, whether about concepts and procedures, or if you're having a problem with the functionality of your tutorial. You can also use this board to share helpful resources you may find on your own, or if you have a novel idea to share. Your second discussion board is your capstone project. It may help you to look at the prompt now so you can begin taking notes as you train. You will have an opportunity to both give and receive feedback on your draft by collaborating with your peers via Google Docs. Once your work is solid, you will post it to the discussion board for more feedback and a formal assessment. For more information, check out the Capstone Project module. One final note, there are custom-made endogenous badges at stake during training. See if you can unlock them all by mastering your capstone project and final assessment. When you are ready to begin training, simply complete the one-question access quiz within this module, Module 2. Doing so will trigger the release condition to open Module 3. which contains your interactive tutorial. Thank you for joining me during this training guide demonstration. I hope it made you feel more comfortable getting started. I also hope you will enjoy the rest of your competencies tool training experience. Good luck and go navigators!